On the Bernina 570, you have, with this machine, the Bernina Stitch Regulator, also known as BSR. Now, this little accessory has worked flawlessly since day one and truly has helped me become a better free motion quilter because it so simply helps keep my stitch length looking all even. Now, I still had to do some practicing to work on different patterns that I can apply to any of my quilts. And as you've seen in our Bernina Stitch Cosmos quilts. These are all been quilted uh, by me using this accessory. So I want to show you just a couple tips and tricks about attaching it, using it, and a couple different modes that it can be used with and to find which one best fits your style of quilting. So first off, if you are interested in learning all about additional accessory presser feet, check out the links below as we go through everything that Bernina offers, just about all the popular feet and decorative stitches in our Bernina Stitching Cosmos online course. Here we were talking about the, the gathering foot, the hemmer foot, twin needle, decorative stitches, all sorts, and oh, don't forget the circular sewing attachment where you get to try out all these different features. So if you're ready to take your machine up a notch and learn everything about it, that would be a excellent choice to expand your knowledge. So first off, I have lowered the feed dogs down because we were just doing free motion quilting with the embroidery foot, so that's foot number 26. If you did get the embroidery module that came with the Bernina 570, this is actually the embroidery foot that we were using. So the Bernina Stitch Regulator in its package, we got directions, we got a great place to store it. This is usually where I put it back when I'm not using it, so it stays nice and protected, but it's actually very, very stable. So I've been walking around the store with this in my pocket all day long, and it is just bulletproof. So it is very strong. It is a standard foot, but it does have a plug-in, so that will plug in into the back side. We also have two additional feet. These feet, one is an open toe foot, and one is almost more like an echo quilt foot. So it's got kind of lines on the foot that can help you kind of echo your way beyond, say, applique or other shapes. So if we were to be switching feet, I do do that before I put the foot on. All you have to do is take these two buttons, white buttons on the side, press in, and the foot slides out. And then as you slide it back in, it clicks into place. So you can switch feet very easily. Again, just do it while the machine foot is off the machine. Come in from the side, it is kind of slightly angled. So it just goes on just like a normal presser foot and then go onto the back side of the machine. Find where it says BSR right back here and then make sure you give it a good push and click it in. Once you've actually clicked it in, you will notice that your screen will change. The only way to get to this screen is if it sees the stitch regulator. Now at here, we have both a straight stitch and a zigzag option. Yes, you can free motion quilt with a zigzag. And the other things that I'll be using is one or two. So usually when people are trying out this for the very first time, two is a great place to start. So in this mode, we are going to show you the starts and stops of using that, and then we'll switch over to mode one. You also might like to pick up a straight stitch throat plate that will help with just a little bit more fine tuning. The needle only has one little tiny hole it can go up and down in, and that is often enjoyed with free motion quilters of the today. Now, if you are in the habit of using your thread cutter, like the last time I stitched, I did use it. So my bobbin thread is very, very short. So on right now, I'm not going to hold my thread and pull up the bobbin thread. I'm actually just going to stitch. So in mode two, we will be using the start stop button, the button that is green now, to go ahead and push and take a stitch. Now see that red light underneath the foot? That red light indicates that as soon as the foot sees movement, it is going to stitch. Now I'm gonna kinda of do a, some short, uh, slow movements and some faster movements. And as you'll hear, the machine will speed up or slow down if depending on how fast the fabric moves. To turn it off, touch the same button, the start stop button, the needle goes down and the red light turns off. So at this point of this particular mode, you're starting and then quilting and then stopping. Here's one other note about this particular mode. If I push it 
and I have the red light on and I wait for about seven seconds. You know, I haven't decided exactly which way to go. You will find that the red light automatically turns off. It's saying, where'd she go? I'm gonna just pause and wait until she comes back and tells me what to do. Notice the needle is also up. So that would be your indication that you just waited too long. Touch and hold, activate the red light, and then go ahead and stitch. This will give you a little time to kind of figure out where you're going before you get there. If you need to pause, it just pauses with the needle hovering above the fabric. And then when you move it again, it is going to start to stitch. Turn it off and you're all set. Now on screen, you have control of the stitch length. So right now the default setting is two millimeters long. So this is some fairly uh, shorter stitches, which is actually what I love when I'm doing my really um, intricate quilting. I love a shorter stitch length. I actually go a even a little shorter. For a bigger, larger project, you might bump that up. Try different lengths, see which one you like the best. So if I go all the way up, by the way, you can go all the way up to four millimeters long. That's really long. Uh, but if you like a little longer stitch length for a bigger pattern, as I push this, I am gonna need to think bigger, move those hands a little bit further to get it to go. And before you know it, you are quilting a much larger area. I am gonna put it back to a normal setting, show you one more thing before we go into mode one. Number, the next thing is, is if you go too fast, I want you to watch the screen here, it's gonna kinda of turn red. I'm gonna outrun the stitch regulator on purpose. Can you see the red light blinking? All right, so that's indicating that I am moving it faster than it can stitch and that I should slow down. So if you see red lights going, you might want to lengthen the stitch length or adjust that you're not moving it as fast because then it's not going to give me stitches that are beyond the setting. Okay, next mode, go to mode one. So in that second mode that we were doing, number two that is, is we were doing a lot of starts and stops starts and stops. In mode one, we'll be using the foot control to activate the stitch regulator. So as I step on my foot control, notice that the needle just goes up and down. So I don't wanna stay there too long, otherwise I'm gonna get a big knot on the back side. But what it's doing is allowing for a little locking stitch, and also too, if you are doing something that has some points, it does give you a little time with those extra little stitches to give you a nice point at those corners. That's how I get my nice, wonderful little edges for these kind of uh, filler patterns that I love, love to do. Again, you can adjust the stitch length and find your happy stitching. The foot control is just red light on and red light off. So notice that I can just keep my hands on my fabric at all times. And when I really wanna actually pause or move to a new area, all I have to do is take my foot off the foot control and my hands are right where they should be. Now keep in mind your foot control is not speed. All it is is on or off, on or off. And that might take a little bit of practice, so I hope you'll take some time to work with your Bernina stitch regulator and try the different modes. And then again, if you set it up for a zigzag, keep in mind it's almost more like a calligraphy pin. So if you go left to right, you'll get a straight line. If you come up and down, you'll get the zigzag and a happy diagonal will kind of give you that fun little diagonal swish of the zigzag. And isn't variegated fun great? So this is actually a great way to kind of do more of a texturing. I think of this on my art quilts. I'll do a lot of open stitch applique and then use that as a quick way to cover up raw edges. So easy instead of just the straight line. So straight stitch, zigzag, and two ways to run the Bernina stitch regulator. Give it time, you will find how wonderful this accessory is. It's been around, it feels like forever, and it's worked since day one. If you're interested in learning more about free motion quilting, I highly recommend some Craftsy classes. We have some of my favorites in the links below, so check those out and learn from expert quilting instructors. And of course, with the Stitch Regulator, you're gonna have a little jump up on those that are learning it uh, from a non-stitch regulator level, you'll at least have all the stitches about the same length as you're working to master the movement for all those 
fun ways to quilt a quilt. So give it a try, don't give up. Uh, it has truly changed the way I machine quilt and I am so thankful for this accessory.